When you're ready to take a retinal image, the patient will place their chin on the chin rest and lean the forehead up to the band. You should adjust the motorized chin rest by moving the up and down buttons on the left side of the joystick panel on the AFC. The outer edge of the eye should be lined up with the notch on the headrest. Also, you should adjust the motorized table up or down to accommodate the patient's height. The buttons to move the table are located by the operator's knees. After aligning the patient, place your right hand on the joystick and keep it straight up. Place your left hand on the base. Push the base towards the patient and move the camera up and down by twisting the joystick. The green rings, or pupil markers, should be placed in the middle of the circle of white dots. At this point, the patient will have a blinking green fixation dot that is slightly off-center. The patient will only see the target once you are lined up and close to them. The tracker will engage and the camera will go from a view of the outside of the eye to the inside. We call this a jump process because the camera is jumping from front to back. If your AFC has auto shot, then follow the prompts on the LCD screen. Verbally instruct the patient to close, then open their eyes. The AFC will automatically capture the image. If the camera does not have auto shot, then adjust the fine focus by rotating the wheel above the joystick. A yellow box may flash on the LCD screen, indicating that a manual fine focus adjustment is required in order to capture a better image. There are two white bars centered in the yellow box. Spin the fine focus wheel to bring the two white lines together. If needed, adjust the infrared lights to brighten the view on the LCD screen of the AFC. Place the yellow ball in the center of the circle and push the button on top of the joystick to capture the retinal image. When the image is transferred to the computer, select Save All in the software and close out the image capture screen by the red X. Double click on the patient's name to view all of the retinal images.